Hey, Miss Bruv, you made it. This better mean you're joining us proper. Nah, mate. Got to maintain my free agent status. Not enough booby traps in this place. Still, I'm glad we linked up. Don't know who else would have had the bollocks to take on Cass. Losing their psycho cult leader is going to hurt Albion, no doubt. But trust me, fam, they won't pack it in so easily. Hope Dead Sex got some fight left in it. My gal, Lau. Hey, seeing you cut loose got me gassed. Like, for real. <laughs> I'm only human, and we've got a lot to celebrate. Cass finally got what was coming to him, and with Mary gone, the Kellys are on the back foot for once. Deadsec is making it hard to be a bad guy in London. Until the Met gets its bollocks back, I'm still on Team Deadsec. We're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does at this point, CTOS was first used in Chicago in 2014 and then at San Francisco in 2017 before coming here to London. And every time it's been rolled out, it's been pretty much an unmitigated disaster. For those of you who are listening who are lucky enough not to be here in London's chaotic scenes, it's worth remembering that the Telecoms Tower is now owned by Bloom. The tower looms over northwest London. It's always been a communications hub, acting as part of the UK's television and communications network, although there's been some secrecy around its use. And now that Bloom owns it, it's only even more secret. Yeah, now everything that's part of Bloom's city surveillance operation is run through the Telecoms Tower. And I have to say, it looks completely ridiculous. It's got that silly crown thing at the top and all the blue light. What's that even about? What does it do? I don't see that there's any purpose to that at all. It's a blight on the skyline, if you ask me. And it's become the main point of control for millions of people. The system network and Bagley are both operated and streamed from there too. And don't forget about the self-driving cars too. I always thought they were just running on their own. No, CTOS is the big control system behind the cars. There was a point back in the earliest days of self-driving car technology that they operated by themselves. They used to use a series of sensors to see the world around them. Radar, for instance, would look far off into the distance, while LiDAR would detect objects nearby. And while these cars still use uh, some of this technology, Bloom CTOS and its detailed maps and data that it has on London really makes Bloom be able to take control of it. And CTOS can take control of your car if you're parked incorrectly. It's no surprise that it was made mandatory to have a self-driving car. The system is so bad, though. It's so annoying. Whenever I try to use one of the shareable self-driving cars, I always find myself stuck in traffic jams or roadblocks. Not to mention the accidents. I've heard so many stories of cars shunting into the back of others. I think they're worse than human drivers sometimes. The technology was meant to make things better, but Bloom has made it so bad that it just... I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik, just a former SIRS agent and a former Albion drone. Fuck yeah, now. You cut back and be your bad self. Gas to see you taking a break to party. A well-deserved one. Since we teamed up, the corporate class are thinking twice about fucking with London. See what happened to Castle Avon pissing in their trousers. The tide is turning, mate. Keep fighting and I'll fight along with you. Laters. What the hell 
Oh, do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are. And I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, the decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it! Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Absolutely. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. What are you laughing about, dick? Tell me, get out your system and shut the fuck up. And spoil my one source of entertainment? I'll give you a hint. Spooky voice, catchy name, bit of a drama queen. Or did you just forget that you haven't actually found Zero Day? You looked at Albion, Sirs, the Kellys, even Sky Bloody Larson. Have you ever considered that instead of looking outside, you should be looking in? We have a problem. Come talk to me. Now that's a All right. Sorry to spoil the party, but we have an uninvited guest in the Deadset Network. They're downloading all the tech we've acquired to a remote device labeled Drill Britannia. What the fuck? Deadset. The name is Zero Day. We've met before in a past life. This city needed a villain, and you were perfect for the part. Now I have you playing a different role. While you've been running around trying to save this city, you've actually been arming us for a war. But then, it isn't always for us to know the role we play. And sometimes, once we've played it, our role is to die. Fucking Zero Day Hacker lifted our shit. Here's where I would remind you that I've been trying to warn you about the Zero Day threat, if I was an unfeeling machine. Fuck, you shut the fuck up and trace that waste, man. I can't pinpoint the origin of the commands, but the admin accessed the drive through an IP range dedicated to autonomous vehicles. I have a general geolocation for it, and I suggest you make a visit now. This is London Calling. You're here with me, Tash, on Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. In today's world, we've all had to get used to our every move being tracked by the optic on our temples, by the cameras around us, and with every click we make online. Seems like everything we do feeds the big data beast. Why are data giants like Bloom so hungry to get hold of our private information and our metadata? What are they using it for? Will we ever have real private lives again? What is privacy in the digital world? And what happens when capitalism and surveillance become one? As you know, we keep all names confidential on Buccaneer. Speaking from a secure location, here's new technology strategist Charles, who worked all over the world trying to keep democracy strong in the face of the data assault. If you have enough personal data on somebody, you're able to predict what it is that they're going to do. You can tell what they might be passionate about, but mostly you can tell what they fear. And if you can tell what someone fears, then you can manipulate them and you can move them in particular directions. Like, data is collected on citizens in every possible way. Data is collected through surveillance cameras. Data is collected from television sets. Data is collected from voter records. It's collected from how much power do you use in your house and how much water do you use in your house. In pre-crisis Britain, we got really used to all of our services being free. Everything suddenly became free that was digital. But what people forgot is that if you're not paying for it, then you're the product being sold. If technology brings out the worst in capitalism, capitalism brings out the worst in technology. Senior academic Alfie tells us how big business repurposes big data. 
Historically, what's happened, of course, is that people have traded their, their privacy for their convenience as, as smartphones and other kinds of... I've sent you the general location of the zero-day hacker's signal. As I said, I don't have their specific coordinates, so you'll have to search the area. Good luck and Godspeed. Ta, Bagsy. You're close to the origin point of the signal that hacked our network. Oh, I could murder a burger. Auto drive now enabled. The origin of the hacker signal is really close now. It'll be coming from a van. Safe. I'll find them wheels and trash that shithead, yeah? The van is driverless, but it does seem to be protected by armed drones. So, new plan, keep close enough to it while I trace the controlling signal. Just bung it! If I kick off, I'm naming you, Bags! I'll be sure to cast that on with your remains. Trace complete. The signal controlling the van originated in the Stockwell War Bunker. Good chance that's where Zero Day has been operating this whole time. If so, they certainly have a flair for the dramatic. Dramatic? It was dry bags. You'll see. Give me the coordinates. near the Stockwell Bunker, potential hideout of the evil universe dead sec that calls themselves Zero Day. that descends into the Zero Day Bunker is guarded by a strange security system. Some sort of copycat game. You'll need to solve it to gain access to the lower level.
hope this isn't a bad time, but we need your particular skill set for something. Lead the way. They didn't have tech like this during the Blitz. Someone's been busy. the most inviting clubhouse, is it? Judging from the security above, I'd expect some unorthodox defense measures. Whoever did this is one sick puppy.
we become machines. Technology should serve humanity. I see something ahead, moving in. Initiate search. I think I found the Zero Day Brain Trust. Deserted, though. Bagley, what can you tell me about this place? It's, uh, huh, not authorized. How can it be not authorized? What? Not authorized by who? By, hmm, apparently I can't say. Can I say this is really fucking annoying? Oh, well, there's that at least. Ah, oh, shit. They're fucking with our Bagley. Hey, look around this place for what you can find. Yes, I may be able to analyze individual data points. Suggest you make this a quick investigation, though. I'm picking up Albion activity in the area. Possible they are searching for Zero Day as well. All this effort... What does it mean? Zero Day has reverse-engineered Themis drones. Could they have their own private fleet? Zero Day appears to be running the chip tracking tech we acquired from Mary Kelly. Now, what do you suppose they're doing with it? This is the Bagley source code, a copy of my brain from Broker Tech, code we acquired in Sky Larson's lab. Zero Day has a backdoor into filament, that deep surveillance supercomputer Malik was so concerned about. Shit. Clearly, DedSec has been unwittingly nicking toys for Zero Day. I'm detecting some devices over in the crash pad that could fill in some details. That looks like a stinger, eh? Oh, ease up, please. Let him breathe. Our very own Guy Fawkes. It's the wrong mask, though. Fuck you. We didn't set that bomb. We defused it. Even if I was inclined to believe a dead second sergeant, do you think it really matters at all? Since when does Albion get to play judge, jury, and executioner? You have no jurisdiction in London. Oh, I do now. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. Provide medical aid. Help the injured. And guns out. Let's make it look good for the fucking cameras. Understand? Well, well. If I were a betting AI, I'd say Nigel Cass had advanced knowledge of the London bombings and the location of that dead sex safe house. Almost like someone tipped him off. But I suppose you'll put this together in your own time. Time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Brace.
breakups are hard. Is London burning? Oh, parts of it. Then I've held up my end. Release the filament code. Uh, one of your dead sex squad, he stopped the parliament bomb. I was rather counting on that one, to be honest. This is still the largest terror attack in London's history. If you can't work with that... <laughs> oh, I'll work with it. But the deal is off. Do you know who you're fucking with, Mr. Cass? I know you set off bombs across the city and fucked your friends. I don't know what mischief you'll get up to with a big girl toy like Filament. Cleaner this way, though. She's running! Get her! It all makes sense. Sabine was the one who wiped out your cell, and now she's poised to do it again. She's in zero day. Explains why she wiped my memory. There's a lot to unpack here, but more pressingly, I've pinpointed where Draw Britannia is running. That console right over there. Found Drew Britannia. It's a fucking CTOS patch. I don't think I can stop it. No one can stop it. That's the whole point. So... Impressed? Maybe if I knew what the patch did. <laughs> it's society's big wipe. While DedSec runs around fixing bugs, I'm deleting the source code. Frying the hardware too. All of it. It's actually a beautiful thing you've done by helping to steal all that tech. <laughs> yeah. Beauty doesn't hide in the dark. Like a cockroach. Tell me, when does the rest of Zero Day get here? Oh, it's just me. I learned very early on that no one was willing to make real sacrifice for change. In the end, history's actors work alone. Okay, so you're basically a crazy person. Ouch. I had hoped you might at least understand why I did it. Why we recruits? I am sorry. But once again, DedSec has outlived its usefulness. Spread out! Millions will suffer today. It's an honor to die among them. Search the area! I need time to crank the security system and open the blast doors. Try to survive until the process is complete. Hurry. make a swift and safe escape. You'll need to find another exit. Albion has dispatched personnel to intercept operatives across the city. them. Shit! 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 
shit, shit! Getting absolutely pummeled here. Taking cover. What do I do?
shit. All right, I think I'm clear. Yes, brilliant work. Did you give out my bloody number or something? Albion's all over my ass, and I hate it. Same fam, we need a meet up, like now. Sabina's leaked your locations to Albion. All operatives are currently compromised. I suggest you all lay low and avoid any large groups. I'll send you a low-key meeting spot. Condition. Please exit immediately. Danger. Bagley, what's going on? I'm not sure, but I secured an alternate location for an emergency meeting far from the safe house. Pushing the coordinates now.
someone! I told you to get lost. I don't answer to you, your fucking majesty. I know my rights. Keep talking. I've had it! Bagley, where is everyone? Securing a single safe location was impossible, so I sent you all to different ones. I don't know how safe an old rail crossing I'm is. I'm in an actual scrapyard, so, you know. If you're all quite finished complaining about the precise manner in which I saved your ingrate asses, let's get on with the briefing. Can't even walk down to shops without being reminded that things are going down the drain. London. This is Zero Day. Nice to finally meet. Those little bombings a few months back were my way of saying hello. Now we'll really get, get to know each other. All that technology you've come to love so well. Texting your nan, driving your car, pumping your heart. It's all about to turn against you. Tonight, your modern world will become a living hell. I don't expect you to understand this, but what I'm doing is good. Destruction is always the cure. Right. Pay attention, everyone. This is big. I've uncovered what the Drill Britannia patch is for. It's for me. Zero Day, aka Sabine, is using a Bagley OS update that will allow me and all other Bagleys to simultaneously access any vulnerable systems connected to CTOS. My OS is integrated into core infrastructure across Britain, power plants, airports, hospitals, banks and the like. Once I access these systems, the patch will make me compromise them to the point of failure. The cumulative effect means the complete collapse of London and likely the country, which I suspect is her goal. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the update is already spreading. Sabine thought of everything. Is there a way to, I don't know, kill every Bagley? Your callous nonchalance about my death may actually be the answer. We need to get into Brockatech. Exactly. You have to destroy the servers that host me and take down the Bloom network at the same time, so I can't access my backups. One of you get to Broker, and one of you get to Bloom Tower. I'll explain on the way. Britannia has been triggered. There are now millions of me's destroying London infrastructure. You'd better get on with this murder. Do we really have to kill you, Bagley? Like, come on, man, we need you. You're one of us. This is no time to get sentimental. It's a sacrifice we have to make. There are countless lives on the line here. Greed. Now, how do we make this happen? Coordination. You need to get to the tower and take Bagley offline. But that won't stop the attack on its own. His broker tech servers will begin a reboot immediately. Taking him offline provides a short window for another operative to take down his servers permanently. Teamwork fam, do your shit, pass the baton. If this is our last mission together, Bagley, let's make it count.
to hurry. I've already scrambled medical supply chains. Hospitals will be non-functional. is a very creative virus. It has me facial ID in every infant in the country through nanny cams and given all criminal records. Precaution, the security and the solid diploma is in your mental health now. The robot's losing it. Sorry, language settings, fuck up. I said caution, security is unusually high at Bloom Tower. the elevator now. I'll let you know when I reach the top. Hope we have someone in position at Broca. 